Is architecture a promising career for the future or will artificial intelligence replace the jobs of architects? It's the beginning of the academic year and I received a lot of messages from students who are interested in architecture. But most of their concerns was to know if architecture will be a viable career option with the effect of artificial intelligence taking over. So in this video, let's break down and analyze the effect of artificial intelligence in architecture, especially in the Indian context. Hopefully, by the end of this video, you should have some clarity on whether artificial intelligence will take over our jobs or not. I am Salman, an architect and illustrator. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. So to begin with, I don't think there's a straightforward answer to say whether AI will replace architects or not without fully understanding what are the roles of an architect and what someone who graduates from BEARC does. There seems to be a misconception in this part which further grows into a fear of AI taking over. To truly understand this, let's break down the role of architects into 7 basic categories and analyze in which areas AI would replace or assist architects. So make sure you watch this video completely. Number 1 is Designing Architects are responsible for creating innovative and functional design solutions for buildings and structures. They conceptualize an idea and develop a vision for the project, considering factors such as a client's needs, site context, functional requirements, as well as the aesthetic needs. Architects approach the process of design not just as a technical task but as a philosophical exploration. They delve into the philosophical aspects of design to create meaningful and impactful spaces that go beyond mere functionality. Artificial intelligence cannot replace this philosophy and give you a design as a final product, but it can help you generate options based on the parameters that you provide. So this will help architects explore a broader range of possibilities and optimize the design solution. In reality, most people who graduate from architecture and join a firm, they don't get to design directly. They work on small parts of design or they assist a senior architect with their designs. There is a hierarchy of structure in the architectural practice, so design is not just done by one single person. Design is a collective and collaborative effort, so AI can assist architects in this area but cannot fully replace them. Also, if you happen to look at these fancy AI generated images of buildings and think this is design, then it's completely wrong. It's only a visual cue to start a design or to spark an idea. One negative impact that AI is going to have in this area of design, especially in the Indian context, is that the common people are now going to think they can design a building or an interior with the help of AI and they do not need an architect to do that. We already have a gap between architects and common consumers in general and now AI is going to widen that gap further. We cannot blame a client for not willing to spend for a design because he believes he does not have to. So, the need for the architecture community to educate common people about design becomes much more necessary and also gets tougher. Also, we as architects now need to have a strong design principle, stick by it and break all the ordinary or else there's a chance that we might get replaced by the artificial intelligence. Number 2 is Planning The next role of architects would be to create technical drawings for the construction projects and also taking into consideration the site feasibility, zoning regulations and environmental impact. Most of the work behind a design project is actually planning and this is where the architect is much more needed. AI can process large data to evaluate building performance such as energy consumption, daylight or thermal comfort, providing architects with valuable insights for decision making. They also need to consider important factors such as codes and regulation. AI will definitely help architects to ease out this process and they don't have to check for compilance each time. Maybe there will be an AI with all the regulation codes feeded as data and it will assist them in planning. Also, the need for draftsmen to make technical drawings might reduce further because artificial intelligence can do those repetitive tasks. Will AI replace anybody here? It wouldn't replace but it will reduce the number of architects needed for a project. Assume a project needs 10 architects to work on technical drawings, climatic considerations and the regulation codes. With the power of AI, the project now needs only 5 to 6 architects. This might ultimately impact the number of jobs available which might be a problem in India because the number of architects who graduate each year keeps increasing. When the supply is high and the demand is low, you know what happens. So in this aspect, AI is both good and bad depending on how we look at it. Number 3. 3D Modeling 
3D modeling is a standard tool in the industry to effectively communicate the designs. 3D modeling as a technology is ever changing and if you look at it, the complexity of 3D models have always been improving. So I wouldn't say AI is replacing anything, but AI is the next technological advancement in 3D modeling. AI can allow architects and other professionals involved to collaborate on 3D modeling. Cloud-based platforms enable architects to share the 3D models with engineers and contractors, allowing for real-time feedback and adjustments. This collaborative approach will ultimately result in more successful projects. If someone is using an outdated 3D software from the 90s, then they would obviously get replaced anyway with or without AI. So that's the same scenario here. If you're an architecture student, then it'll be a smart move to keep yourself updated with the new technology and always keep an eye out for what's next. To summarize this, no, AI will not replace the need for 3D modeling. Number four is 3D rendering. Now, this is a part where AI could actually replace people considering the advancement of 3D visualization using AI in the past few months. You can create realistic renders within a few seconds by just uploading the images of your base model. But let's also consider that many firms outsource the 3D rendering part and it's done by other companies who might not necessarily be architects. They could be CGI artists or just visualizers. So AI is a threat to them and if you're an architect who's primarily into visualization, then it could be a threat to you as well. On the positive side, not everyone knows how to use AI to render their images. So you could be the first one to learn this and keep yourself updated. Number five is project evaluation and budgeting, which is definitely getting replaced with AI and other softwares. But these are some very boring tasks, which architects don't mind getting replaced. I have personally never met an architect who's passionate about budgeting, so that's there. AI systems can provide architects with real-time data and insights to support decision-making. By analyzing various project parameters, AI can help architects make informed decisions that align with project goals, budget constraints, and client requirements. It can also consider factors such as market fluctuations, regional variations, and project complexity, which is actually a good thing for architects. Number six is material selection and specification. Material selection is again an interesting and collaborative part in design, and I don't think it's getting replaced by AI. Innovation and AI are two opposites, and AI works with pre-feeder information, so it cannot produce something of its own. Architects are always on the lookout for new materials and new ways to innovate with them. And also, to find new materials, you need to talk to people, find vendors, and assess its practical application. And all of this is a physical process. AI could maybe have a database of all materials and its specification. But will it replace an architect who wants to explore new ways of using materials? I guess not. Number seven is project management. The project management part of a design is handled by architects or architects and engineers who do their masters in project management. So AI softwares can help ease the process of communication and it can also help plan the different stages of construction, but it cannot fully replace an architect. The primary role is overseeing the entire construction process and ensuring the successful execution of the design. They develop a strategic plan that outlines the design and construction phases. They facilitate effective communication between the client, contractors and consultants and ensure that everyone is aligned with the project goals and objectives. This again is a huge task that architects do to bring their intended vision to reality. So those seven points would have given you an idea as to what an architect typically does and also help you understand that AI is only a tool that architects are going to use currently. From a job point of view, it does seem that only architects with a good skill set are going to make it through, especially in the Indian context. And for that, you definitely need to put in a lot of effort and dedication. And if you're a student who's looking to pursue architecture, it's up to you to decide based on the things that we just spoke about right now. But considering AI as a factor to make your decision would not be the right thing to do. As the saying goes, change is the only thing that's permanent and AI is the change that is happening right now. So that's it from this video. I hope you found this content to be helpful. And if you did, please hit that like button and share it with your friends. If you have any questions, you can comment them down below and I'll be happy to answer them. You can follow me on Instagram and the handle is right here. I'll see you on the next one.